everybody once again it's brand man sean and i'm back with another video and today we're talking about something that a lot of people struggle with and that is getting high engagement when you're running a youtube ad i'm going to talk about why i came up with this idea working with a client and he asked to get a 10 percent like to view ratio on his videos and i had to kind of break down why this is extremely important if you want to make sure that you're leveraging not only your youtube ads but just really a lot of your campaigns correctly this should just take about five minutes so tune in all right we got to start here man the industry average the industry average when it comes to likes to views is only four percent so that's only 40 likes per 1000 views and not only that the comment to view ratio is even smaller which is only point five percent right that's five comments per thousand views and if you don't believe me let's get into some examples so let's start with roddy rich's the box one of the po most popular songs this year bar none took off went crazy TikTok, all that good stuff but when you look at the actual view to like ratio what do you see 3.1 percent remember industry average and that's really doing very well actually four percent 3.1% is the like to view ratio for this video. And then 0.14% was the comment ratio. And that's with having a lot of comments. Then we can move on to Gary V's video right here, right? Just to show you that this isn't just music videos. Gary V has 2.2% likes to view ratio on this video, while he has 0.4% comment to view ratio. See, this stuff translates everywhere. But then we can go back to this episode of Joe Budden's podcast. There's a clip here and we see that the actual comment engagement is a little bit higher than industry norm. As a matter of fact, it's double. So this thing is doing crazy in terms of the engagement for through comments. Why is that though? Well, oftentimes it's going to depend on what is the content of the video and this video right here, like a lot of topics on Joe Budden is very engaging because it talks about relationships and so many people have something to say when it comes to relationships, their own perspective, yada, dating, yada, yada, yada. So that's probably why you see such a high engagement ratio here. But when you look at the like ratio, again, that's down to 2%, which is half the industry average, which I would say isn't even the industry average. I think those numbers are outdated. That is doing very well. And check out this video from one of my favorite artists to watch, Moxis. This comment to view ratio is off the charts, 1.1%. But I think I can explain this away because also, I mean, it's crazy when you look at the likes to view ratio as well. You're talking about almost 10%. But when you check out one of Moxie's other videos, one of his most popular videos actually, is closer to industry average, where you talk about that 0.6% comment to view ratio, and then 3.6% like to view ratio. So what would I say is probably an explanation that helps with this video? Well, he did a collaboration. And not only has Mox has been building a lot of his following through YouTube already over the years, which means these are people who are inclined to be active engaging on YouTube, so has the person he's collabed with, Joey, and it's a thing that they collaborated. So a lot of times when you have moments where fans see you as having a big win or a big moment that they're a part of, you'll find higher engagement on those particular videos. But at the end of the day, you again should expect the industry average. So keep those things in mind, but we're not actually at the part where we talk about why it's so hard to do well when we get into the ad game. Because when you're dealing with ads, first and foremost, you already have to optimize. You need to find what I call the sweet spot where you're getting results like this, right? Here's something that we're running for a client right now and she's super dope. If you look at comments, you're seeing this sweet spot where people are finding the ad and letting you know that I found the ad. I mean, you have two people saying something like, her ad literally stopped me in the middle of a Neo Soul marathon, but bag lady can wait. But bag lady, 
Erica Badu bag lady can wait, right? That means you're finding those people who really connect with what you're you're actually advertising. Same thing with this other person. He was listening to the Fugees. He was actually walking over to the computer to cut the ad off, but before he cut it off, next thing you know, he's he's lost in the sauce. He's commenting on this video now, right? That means he clicked through the ad and loved it so much he's commenting on the video, let alone a comment like this, right? Accuracy is extremely important, but a huge part of the expectations, right, that can ruin your ad program is not understanding, one, this context of industry average, and then number two, check this part out. So with all we've just discussed, this is how you have to be able to look at it when it comes to running your ads, and that'll change things for you. One, we have these three categories, engagement, oh, misspelled that, there we go. And then you have the actual YouTube video, all right? So with these things in mind, let's remember that you have a 4% like to view ratio and you have a 0.5 comment to view ratio. Ooh, good Lord, these numbers are ugly, but you get the point, all right? And now remember, whatever you have with the YouTube views, I mean, yeah, the YouTube views, that's your conversion. So you're going from here to here. You have a thousand views here. Oh my gosh, these, these are horrible, but you know what I'm saying, right? That's why we have the audio to go along with it. What is the last category? The last category is the actual YouTube ad. So if you keep consumer behavior in mind, remember, it's not just one barrier, which you have with a YouTube video. You're adding an additional barrier because consumer behavior, if you know anything about funnels, you always hear people talk about clicks. What's the click-through rate? How do I go from one click to the next? And every single click between a behavior that you want is a barrier. It makes it harder to actually get that result. So now you add an extra barrier between engagement where now it was only one barrier between engagement before when you have a YouTube ad because people are watching it as a pop-up. Remember that? Now they have to click through to the actual YouTube video and then they have the possibility to engage. And that's why it's so important right here for you to have accurate, optimized advertisement, right? Because when you do this, this gives you a better chance of converting and getting a higher number that actually views the YouTube video. This, there's no guarantee. We have the whole idea when it comes to statistics when you can say, all right, you can expect a 4% like to view ratio and a 0.5% comment to view ratio. But when it comes to a YouTube ad to YouTube actual video view ratio, not the view when I viewed it while as an ad, but a click through onto the actual YouTube ads page where I have the possibility to engage that click through is all dependent on how well you target so that could be massively different for some people right people can have 50 in every 1000 some people can have 100 in every 1000 there could be some people that only have one in every 1000 so keep that part in mind as well so this is why it's so hard to hit a number like 10% engagement when you're running a YouTube ad. Why? Because you have to go through so many hurdles. And if you don't understand this, there's a lot of artists that will have great results, right? A lot of you people, who do I mean by you people? You people know who you are, right? A lot of you people will run your ad, right? And have great results, but not know it because you don't have context of not only industry average, but then understanding the additional barriers that an ad will be going through. So a great performing ad will be far away from your expectations. And now you don't feel good based on your results, even though your actual results are great. And that disconnect messes a lot of artists, a lot of marketers up. Keep that in mind. That's yet another video. Hopefully that's helpful. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.